What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I have details on how you'll get the Ace of Spades when the Forsaken DLC drops. Now obviously the video contains spoilers so if you do want to stay spoiler free guys leave the video now. Go ahead leave I don't mind I don't want you to ruin it for yourselves if you don't want to. Also guys before we go any further I have an exclusive Gambit emblem code to give away. To be in with a chance of winning this emblem make sure you are sub to the channel drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below winner will be picked within two weeks and contacted via direct message here on youtube good luck everybody now monthly giveaways of loads of goodies is what i do so stay tuned until the end of the video to find out about my fully customizable controller giveaway okay so the ace of spades Cade's hand cannon it's quite clear where this hand cannon lies within the game and well you'd think you'd know how you get it also well that kind of is and isn't the case Yes, Uldren has the weapon, but it isn't as simple as just taking it back from his corpse, it seems. Okay, so when the Forsaken drops, the Ace of Spades will not be available for you to obtain straight away. You first need to complete the story campaign up until you defeat Uldren Soth. Upon doing this, guys, you will be awarded the Broken Ace of Spades. This is where your quest starts in fixing and getting this exotic hand cannon. The quest is called Cade's Will. Step 1 is reclaiming the Ace of Spades from Aldrin, basically taking down Aldrin's ass and grabbing this weapon. Step 2 is to take this broken weapon, the broken Ace of Spades, to Banshee 44 in the tower. Step 3 is to then go out and get 5 invasion kills with a hand cannon in the Gambit mode. Now we know guys this is not as simple as that. Getting invasion kills could be quite time consuming, especially if you need to get them with a hand cannon. Because this is how Gambit works, each team will have their own arena with the task of taking down waves of enemies and building up a supply of mults. By banking these mults you can send a blocker to the other team's arena, a powerful enemy that will stop the other team banking their own mults until it's defeated. When enough mults have been banked, a powerful enemy will show up on your side called Prime Evil. Once defeated, the round is over. As well as this, there's also a chance for a player to invade another team's arena at certain points for some direct player versus player action. It's at this point, guys, where you would need to land five hand cannon kills. So, I mean, you could go straight over there once a match and get eliminated straight away. So, it could be quite time consuming indeed. Now, getting a kill with this hand cannon while playing Gambit will reward you a Biohithmic data piece, I believe that's when I Banshee uses these to tune the Ace of Spades to your hand. Five are needed in total, so five Guardian kills in Gambit are needed in total. Step four is to eliminate 250 enemies in strikes with a hand cannon to collect more of these biorhythmic datas. Step five is to get 25 precision kills in the Crucible to collect further biorhythmic data. Step 6 is to search the solar system to find Cade's caches. There are 4 in total, 1 on the Tangled Shore, 1 on the EDZ, 1 on IO and 1 on Nessus. Step 7 is to collect Cade's personal cache on Titan. Fight your way back into the Arcology to claim the parts you need to repair the Ace of Spades by completing mission Ace in the Hole. So this is no doubt an actual mission that will appear on Titan when you're at this step in the quest line. Step 8 guys is then to take what you have back to Banshee in the tower who then repairs the weapon, tunes it to your hand and you are rewarded the Ace of Spades exotic hand cannon guys. And that is it, that is the quest line in getting the Ace of Spades exotic. So it seems pretty cool and I cannot wait to dive in. Now this info was taken from light.gg, a great source for all Destiny 2 info. Link to this quest can be found linked within the video description if you do want to check it out. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video, but before we go, every single month I give away a fully customizable controller. To be in with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and follow the Gleam link at the top of the video description. It's fast, simple and legit guys. But on that note, I am out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand.